This video demonstrates the new CSV import options added in version 4.0 and version 4.1 of Attendance. The first step is to create a CSV file. See the Create CSV video for the format of the CSV file and for more details on how to create one. The .csv file must be a plain text CSV file, not an Excel.xls or .xlsx file, and it must be in either ASCII or UTF-8 format. On Windows you can use Notepad or WordPad, on the Mac you can use TextEdit, and on both platforms you can use Excel as long as you use the CSV format when you save it. So if you've created a file such as this, um, showed here for the CS102.txt, I've only included a few of the headers. You can, you can include all the headers uh, listed on the other video if you want, um, but this one just shows the, these four headers. And so I've got the names and the email and a photo file. And if you're going to use the email option instead of Dropbox, the photo file name must be a full HTTP path to a public web server where the file is stored. See the Attendance Import CSV video for how to create a local web server on your computer if you do not have a website where you can store files. The other option is to use Dropbox, and if you do that, then you only have to specify the um, file name um, as long as this file is in the same folder as the text file we're importing. So Attendance 4.1 and later support Dropbox. Version 4.1 should be approved by Apple by the second or third week of December 2010. Dropbox.com is a cloud syncing service that provides 2 gigabytes of space for free. You can also get more free space if you sign up via referral, and then you can get more free space by referring others. If you would like a referral, send, me, send an email to me at dave256apps at me.com, and I will send you a referral link to use when signing up for Dropbox. I'll also put up a uh, link on my blog. To use Dropbox, you must first create a folder named Attendance within your Dropbox folder. So here, the default uh, Dropbox on the Mac, it shows up in your home directory with a folder named Dropbox, and then I've created this folder named Attendance with a capital A. I believe on Windows it shows up in your My Documents folder, you'll find the Dropbox folder there. So in my Attendance folder here, I've got a another folder named CS102, and there's my CS102.csv file, and there's the two um, JPEG files that match the names here that we specified in the format. Okay. So if you email the attachment to yourself, open the message on your iOS device and tap and hold the attachment and choose the option to open in attendance. This will display the same screen I will show you in a minute using Dropbox. Since there's no mail program on the simulator, I can't show the steps of opening it in email. So let's take a look at attendance on the uh, iPhone here. And on the Add View tab here, We'll scroll down and choose the option for CSV in Dropbox slash attendance. And there you see here's the CS102.csv file within the CS102 folder. I will choose that. And then this is the same screen that shows up if you tap the attachment and hold it uh, in the mail application. Um, so once you've done that in the mail and tap and hold the attachment, you'll get an option to open it in attendance and it will bring up the same screen. So this shows you the first couple lines of the file. You have the option of adding these names to a new course, or if you want to add some names to an existing course, you'll press the existing uh, selector up here at the top, and then choose the course that you want to add it to, um, and then press the import button. So I'm going to create a new course, and actually I've already had a course named CS102, so I'll call the CO102A, and then press import, and it imports the file from Dropbox. If I go back here now, you'll see that we have the file, the class CS102A, there's the two students with the pictures there. Version 4.1 and a higher of attendance also support backing up and restoring your data to a Dropbox attendance folder. On the Add View tab, so we'll go back to that, we'll scroll down here and choose Backup to Dropbox slash Attendance, and I can save both the attendance database and the photos um, separately. And when you do that, they will be uploaded to your Dropbox folder. Uh, the attendance folder within the Dropbox folder. So you see there's the file that just got uploaded. And I can also save the photos. Now the photos will take much longer to upload and you only need to do that when you've changed the photos. Um, since the data is stored separately, un unless you've actually um, taken new photos or changed the photos for the students, there's no need to back up and restore those every time you back up and restore the database. You do want to back up and restore the attend.db file uh, probably once a day, you know, whenever you've made changes to the file. And now if you've lost your device and have to get a new one, you can go to the option here and choose Restore from Dropbox slash Attendance, 
And actually, to show you that that works, let's go back here and let's uh, edit. And we'll delete those three classes that we had. And now we'll go back and do restore, and I'll load them. And again, this is going to replace the data on your device. It's not a, a sync operation. It's actually going to replace any of the existing data on your device with the data from Dropbox. And I'll also load the photos. And then when we're done, we can go back and see that it loaded back in the courses that we had. Okay. Note that you may also use these options to transfer your data between devices. On the device with the latest data, choose the option to backup to Dropbox slash attendance. After the backup completes on the other device, you can choose the option to restore from Dropbox slash attendance. I have left the in-app purchase for using a direct Wi-Fi transfer for those who, don't, who do not want to use Dropbox or for those who just like to give me a small monetary tip.